She's back. Sophie Allsworth, media writer for The Australian, has had a well-earned break, as they say, at the ABC and joins us after a couple of weeks uh, from Melbourne. Good to talk to you again, Sophie. Your little break pales into insignificance compared to the ABC, their Q&A program, disappearing off our screens for 11 weeks. Well, it's a fair chunk of time, isn't it, Chris? But look, I think this is the perfect opportunity for the ABC's flagship, you know, current affairs panel program to have a real reboot. And maybe they'll come back in 2024, Chris, with more balance, uh, you know, far better panels. I think there's a lot of room for improvement here. So maybe it's a, a really good opportunity that they're going to seize, Chris. Yeah, well, let's have a listen to Patricia Carvelis uh, wrapping up the program and we can add to it for her. This is our final Q&A for the year in what has been a momentous time for Australia and also around the world. We'll be back from 2024 on Monday, February the 19th at 9.35pm. Put it in your phones now, put it in your diary. Yeah, and we'll be back next year. And instead of having 50 shades of left, we'll have about 25 shades of left and 25 shades of mainstream or right of centre stuff. That would be a pleasure to behold. And we'll actually adhere to the law, which is our charter. But don't hold your breath, Sophie. I want to talk also, this applies to the ABC, of course. This is the anti-Israel petition that's been signed by hundreds of journalists, some of them from the ABC. Now, in your media section in The Australian Today, Jenna Clark had this story where... One of the union members uh, has slammed this, a senior member of the Journalists' Union, the, the um, what is it called again, the Media Arts and Entertainment Alliance. Uh, Neil MEAA. Pryor. Yeah, that's the one, the MEAA. Now, Neil Pryor has said it is it dangerously prescribes, this letter does, how journalists should cover unfolding events in the Palestinian territories and Israel, complete with justifications for the actions of Hamas as it spearheads a 75-year campaign to wipe out Israel. He is certainly right, but it shouldn't be a story, really, should it, Sophie? This, this should be the position of anybody involved in journalism. Chris, I think it's a real worry that more than 300 journalists in the Australian media contingency have put their name to this letter. And I think, uh, as we've seen, a lot of the bosses at the various outlets, uh, Nine Entertainment, uh, Guardian, ABC, have raised concerns about staff signing this letter. What happened to journalists when they're reporting on an issue uh, being objective, and I think this has damaged the media industry significantly. I think it's put us in a very bad light. And I worry, Chris, what the Australian media thinks, the Australian public thinks of the media. Yeah, I agree with you. It's, it, it's a real worry. They are campaigners, and in this case, they're campaigners on the wrong side of history, the wrong side of humanity as well. Uh, we'll keep following that, no doubt. I want to ask you too, Sophie, what you've heard and what you've been able to report about the ABC's documentary series on the Liberals in power. As you know, I put together a, a two-part documentary. We, Our Sky News team put together a two-part documentary series last month. But the ABC apparently have been spending countless hours and many, many months putting a similar series together, uh, but we're not going to see it till next year. Well, has, has there been a problem here, do you think? Well, I would say there is some sort of issue. I mean, that is an awfully long time. Chris, can you imagine if you had the, the luxury of spending, you know, well over 12 months to work on a documentary? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, we'd all be blessed to have that amount of time on our hands to do such a thing. But perhaps they're looking for more uh, interesting timing, obviously deeper into Albanese's tenure. It's a good th time to uh, throw a hand grenade at the coalition. Peter Dutton, I think, as we've seen in stories across the weekend, he's not doing too badly. So I think, as we know, the ABC are left-leaning. They are supporters of the Labor Party, although they'll tell you blue in the face they're not. So uh, let's see what, uh, you know, happens with this, but I think it will be interesting to see. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they might have been framing it almost as a dirge for the Liberal Party, a bit of a, uh, a wake for the Liberal Party. And guess what? While they've been fiddling around, the Liberal Party's woken up. I think the other issue could be the journalists they've got to do these many, many hours of interviews is Mark Willisey, and his reputation has been kind of shredded through that, um, that uh, defamation case the ABC lost recently. Uh, great to have you back, Sophie. Catch up with you again next week.
Sophie Ellsworth there. Uh, you can read her stuff uh, on the media, shenanigans in The Australian every day, but especially on Monday.